Andy, thanks for thanks for joining us on this Zoom call today. Um, dead excited because we've got all the parts together for your bike. So thanks for commissioning a, a new custom build with us. We thought we'd just take this opportunity because what you've commissioned is actually a little bit unusual. Is for you to describe what sort of riding it is you do, how we've come to some of the choices of your equipment, and how we're going to do the build and build you your dream bike. So, as I understand it, you're a mountain biker, and you wanted. A, a gravel bike that was capable of some Lake District riding. So, could you describe what sort of riding you're going to be doing on this on this beauty? Yeah. So, um, I'm yeah, like you say, I, I ride a lot of mountain bikes. Um, I've been getting into gravel in the last sort of couple of years or so, and ridden something that um, sort of just about survived the kind of riding I enjoyed doing. Um, so I, I figured the sort of uh, the next step up really was to find something that was capable of uh, taking me pretty much all the places, most of the places I, I normally ride uh, a mountain bike on trails. Um, a little bit more capable than just something that would do fire roads, for example. So um, it's the single tracks and, and steep techy climbs and things like that that I really sort of enjoy. The frame, which is this little beauty here. So we've gone for a Ragley Trig. So this is a, a steel frame with a carbon fork. Steel is a little bit heavier, but it's super durable. It gives a fantastic ride feel. And the Trig frame, lovely relaxed geometry, loads of tire clearance so we can get those big 2.1 inch uh, wide tires in there as well. We're thinking of attempting to do the Pennine Bride away on it. Um, was this year, maybe next year. Yeah. Let's, see, let's see what happens. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, certainly it needs to be needs to be capable of sort of uh, uh, multi-day adventures on, on sort of fairly gnarly, rough rough stuff. So gear ratio wise, because <laughs> where, where we live, we've gone for this monstrous 11 to 42 cassette. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's required. <laughs> uh, and on the front, we're going for um, 40 tooth. Yeah. Like the GRX, this matte black looks really lovely. Um, really yeah. So 42, this is the smallest that they do in their single ring. Um, and I think that when you're um, when you're cycling normally, I think you'll be fine, absolutely fine. I think once you get the bike a bit laden down with some weight on it, probably going to want to go smaller than a 42, and we might have to think about changing that in the future when you get all laden up. But 40 with a 42 on the back, that. Like 0.8 ratio or something is going to be it's going to be fine i think for what we're doing wheels is an interesting one we're pretty much building you a set of mountain bike wheels aren't we <laughs> <laughs> yeah as 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 uh, briefed i guess i'm uh, as mentioned earlier I, I need something bomb proof and it, it i don't i don't mind sort of uh, losing a few grams for the sake or gaining a few grams should i say for the sake of uh, for the sake of it not falling apart on a distant trail somewhere off across the Pennines. Yeah, so we've, what we've gone for here is the uh, Shimano XT XT hubs. These are ever reliable. Um, they are super easy to service. Like you could probably carry uh, the tools to service this in a set of panniers. And again, you could probably walk into any bike shop anywhere in the world, and they would know what to do with and get this serviced. Um, spokes have all been uh, custom custom cut. These are uh, courtesy of custom cut spokes in uh, in Bournemouth, and we're using the um, the Sapin Race spokes, it's a straight gauge spoke, super strong. Uh, we're also using brass nipples. If anyone rides in really wet conditions, um, brass nipples are going to save you an awful lot of hassle down the line. They, they don't corrode as easily. You can always get a spoke key on them and trip a wheel in the field. Um, tiny, tiny little bit heavier. Probably live with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is, uh, so what we've gone for here, if you can see, is the Mavic uh, XM424 and this is a, a mountain bike rim and so 32 holes and the reason we've done this, if you can see the inside of that, that is 23 millimetres internal and hookless technology as well so there's no bead hook in there which means that you get a thicker sidewall um, much more durable um, when you're hitting rocks and on your tubeless tyres that's going to stand up to a few, a few more knocks in there. So tyres, I know we had a long text conversation about tyres to get these nailed for you um, and in yeah, the end, thanks, these, <laughs> these, these, these are the Vittoria Mezcals 
um, in a 27 and a half by 2.1. This is as wide as that frame will take. Um, these are lovely, this is the graphene comp compound as well, so they'll, they'll last a long time, they're dead grippy, they've got that nice, consistent uh, centre tread as well, so they'll roll really easily, but you've still got some bite in the corners, so when you turn into that sort of loose, um, loose sort of gravel over hard pack that we have there, you're still going to get some bite. It's going to always going to handle a bit like a, a mountain bike, so probably yeah. a couple of little spendy bits on the build. But... <laughs> Cool. So let's finish this off. So um, you've supplied your favourite handlebars, uh, these wide, super flared, um, flared bars. Again, almost a little bit of a nod to mountain bike days where the braking position is, is out wide, good wide stance. Um, as you're coming down here, you really get your elbows out and uh, absorb some of the shocks of those gnarly trails that we do. But still, come all day riding. Get a big bar bag on there. Yeah, M multiple purpose, really good. Yeah, completed with some uh, some bright purple bar tape, we were well away. <laughs> what gravel's all about, freestyle it, it's all good. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm, I'm super excited to get this built for you, Andy, and see it out on the trails. I know you've got um, an Instagram page as well, if people want to follow you on that, and we'll link it into the description as well, so people can follow you. I can't wait to see some of the Instagram feeds that come out of you outside the Lake District riding this around. Seeing what I love taking pictures of my bike, yep. <laughs> Right, I think that's it, let's get this thing built. Before we hand it over to Andy, I just thought we'd run through some of the finer details of this build that you might be interested in. So, if you remember, this is a Ragley Trig steel gravel bike with a carbon fork, carbon steerer as well. This is gonna handle really beautifully, have loads of frame bags on this. It's gonna handle really great on the trails, through axles front and back. Remember, we hand built the wheels and we're using the, uh, the 11 speed Shimano Dior XT hubs again because you can service them really easily out in the field um, with just a couple of wrenches and some and some 10p bearings fix that with that 11 speed 11 through to 42 cassette really low ratio for the hills of the lake district lace these up with some straight gauge uh, spokes brass nipples onto the mavic rims there using that hookless technology on um, and that wide internal 23 millimeter wide internal these are basically mountain bike wheels onto a gravel bike wrap those up in a pair of Vittorio Mezcal, the Graphene 2.1s, um, hard wearing compounds, super grippy, lovely smooth centre tread for rolling fast on the gravel sections, but still a bit of bite for those off-road sections that we know Andy loves. One of the things I love about this frame is it's all standard components, so even the bottom bracket is a standard BSA threaded bottom bracket, which if you remember, we, um, we took the threading tools and the facing tools to that as well, just to give that frame that finishing touch you don't want any creaking or any sign this season up in the future Andy supplied his own pedals there from a previous bike um, obviously the 40 tooth chain ring around here great for when the bike's in this configuration we can easily drop that down to a smaller chain ring side for when this bike is fully laden up for those big trips you know he's looking forward to up, up front then we um, we fitted this Cane Creek uh, headset really well weatherproof to the Cane Creek headsets as well um, all the internal routing that we've done through here, we just finished them off with those lovely little frame grommets as well. And the cable routing, if you remember, we paid special attention just to make sure that there's going to be no frame rattle and I can confirm riding this around. Nothing's rubbing, nothing's rattling. It's, it's really lovely and quiet. 160 mil rotors, front and back, so we put those adapters on there as well. And we had to get those special short bolts uh, because this frame's only got 10 millimeter wide brake dismounts on there as well. Up front, then you're going to love this. I think Andy's going to love this too. The uh, Super Chasm sort of metallic purple bar tape. It's super soft, super grippy, wide flared bars. Those Shimano GRX group set. It looks great, it rides great. I think he's going to love it. I hope you love it too. <laughs>